they say the Bible is contradictory. With the few examples you have given us, we have understood right now. You know, what of us, any of us can stand and say, when somebody says the Bible is contradictory, that is, he says this and counters it. With the few examples you have given us, you can deal with that issue. So how can you now say you are not learning it? That's exactly what he's trying to say. You are more than those that can learn it. Many that call themselves many gurus will tell you, that's it. It's the Bible is contradicted. Bible is contradicted. It can be, but the word of God is not. The word of God is Alpha and it's Omega. It's the beginning and it's the end. It's yes and it's what? Amen. Anyone that tells you he knows everything about God is a liar. You have to unlearn to learn if you want to know God. And I want to explain to people these secrets. The Bible is not the word of God, but the word of God is contained in the word of God. The Bible is not the word of God, but it contains the word of God. The word of God has been in tablets, in scroll. Before the prophets of new generations come together and say, let's create it into a book. In the time past, once you want to study on Enoch, you get the book of Enoch. Once you want to study the book of Jeremiah, written, you get the book of Jeremiah. It's just like in this, our Christendom, you want to get the book of Rit Abai, you get my books. You want to get the book of Bishop David Oyedebo, you get his book. You want to get the book of Prophet Adeboye, you get his book. You want to get the book of Kumui, you get his book. You want to get the book of late Idaosa, you get the book. You want to get the book of late TV Joshua, you get the book. Now, you believe these men of God are servants of God. You now combine their book. You will see that the book of Kumui will tell you there is demon that will not allow you to grow. Why in the book of Ritabai, you will read that no demon is permitted to catch your destiny. You read in the book of, are you getting me here now? Now, these books will be compared together to be written as holy book. But there is a word that Kumui, Ritabai, Oyedebo, Adeboye are obeying to think if this is good or not. Are you getting me here now? So, many people are making a lot of errors. And in today's service, I want to elaborate and teach you the secret why this young man is a moving Bible. I don't read the history of Timothy. I only obey on God's word wherever. You see why I'm a volunteer? Because God said, Rita by tithes. God said, do not commit adultery. God said, do not lie. God said, do not kill. Anywhere I hear God say, I do it. Because Timothy, Elijah, Elisha cannot judge me. One will judge me. His son. Wherever I read, Jesus said, I do it. I and Elijah, I and Moses, I and Elisha, I and Peter, I and Paul, we are fallible. We are flesh. But Jesus, Holy Spirit, the Creator, they are infallible. 
So many people today are getting what these prophets of old have said to contradict the word. You can contradict Bible, but you cannot contradict the word of God. Are you getting me here now? Some will tell you in this verse there is a mistake. Some will tell you there is no 45. They wrote 48. Some will tell you Hezekiah was 38. The other one read 26. These are interpretation of words written. But the word of God, you see it here, you will see it here. His word is infallible. That is why the Tabai said, the man calm and smart and sharp because he meditates only in the word. Clap your hands as you hear this short message. God is on your side. Favor is on your side. And blessings on your side. I captured this message titled Fruitless Efforts. Fruitless Efforts. Sometimes you can look fruitful. Things can look fruitful in your eyes sometimes. Things can be fruitful in your eyes. But at the end of that thing, you will see the thing will be fruitless. Many of you have come down to ask question. Is it right to help the poor? Some will say, I've helped the poor. As I help the poor, my resources scatter. And some will say, I help the poor and I'm blessed. Look up here. It is not in your judiciary. It is not in your law. It is not in your commandment. It is not prolonged to you. It is not instructed to you to help the poor. The Bible said, the Levite. When Bible talking about the Levite, you should understand what the Levite. Rita Bible said, everyone is called, but few are commissioned. Everyone is called, but few are commissioned. For me to know how to hold tape and how to chalk block and how to mix cement does not make me an engineer. There is difference between a mason and an engineer. That's true, sir. An engineer is different from an architect. That's true. And an architect is different from a structural engineer. Yes, sir. And a structural engineer is different from a building engineer. That is true, sir. They all know their works. If a mason should build up, say, mind me, the house will collapse. That's because true. a structural engineer have not told him or her, this is where the column that we hold the pillar is. Look up here. Yes, sir. The prophet and the servant are the one Bible instructed that you should bring that food in the storehouse. The house of God is the house where the needy comes to collect. Not you to give. Because Rita Bai said, no eyes, no ministry. Yes, sir. Demon can turn into an angel of light and appear before you for help. And you don't have eyes, you help a demon that will cripple you. That's true, sir. The Bible has given instruction in the book of Malachi 3. Let's read from verse 1 down to 14. You will know that he will judge the sons of Levi that did not give to those that are need to be given. You will ask, a pastor should help. Will they go and steal? Is it not what you bring that they will give? That's now you ask yourself a question. Somebody will say, but I give. He did not give. God will judge that very Levi, not you. Yes, sir. Am, I, am I making sense? Yes, sir. He said, behold, I sent my messenger and he will prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come to his temple. Even the messenger of the covenant in whom you delight. It must be a prophet you love that you give and you obey to be under him to receive his word. That's true, sir. Behold, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. He said, but who can endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like a refined fire and like a ladder soap. He said, he will sit as a refiner and a purifier of silver. He will purify the sons of Levi. We are the sons of Levi. Those he chooses. Your own son to come can be a son of a Levi. Every Levi come with a divine instruction. With a mark upon their forehead. That's true, sir. You can give birth to six children. One will be different. 
just like Hannah gave birth to her sons. She has four sons and three daughters, two daughters. But Samuel was different. He carried oil. Yes, Touch them not. Rita Ba is the last in his mother's home. But from his childhood, he carried a different grace. He true. came for the word of God. Yes, oh. sir. Are you getting me here now? Yes, sir. Now the Bible says he will sit as a refiner and a prefer of sliver. He will prefer the sons of Levi and purge them. He will purge them. Those that are not moving parry pursuit to his word. He will purge them as gold and sliver that they may offer to the Lord an offering. Where will they get the offering? The offering they receive instruction to collect from the masses. Yes, he will purge them because they have not offered the offering in righteousness. They have not offered the offering righteousness. He said, then the offering of Judea, which is praise, Jerusalem, which is a promised land, will be presented to the Lord as in the days, as in the former years, which they will bring it in the storehouse. People will come and they will collect. People will come and they will collect. People will come and they will collect. That is why the Bible said in the book of Hebrew 7 from verse 5, he said there clearly, and indeed those who are of the sons of Levi, who receive the priesthood have a commandment to do what? To receive tithes. From the people, they have the commandment to receive tithes. But those of them that will take the tithe and the offering, refusing to help, these are the ones Jeremiah 7, from verse 11 to 18, call them thieves and robber. Are you getting me here now? In Jeremiah 7, from verse 11 to 18, he said, Has this house, which is called by my name, become a den of thieves in your eyes? Behold, even I, I have seen it, says the Lord. Then Jesus also repeated it in Matthew 21, from verse 12 to 13. Jesus repeated it clearly. He said, then Jesus went into the temple of God and drove out all those who brought and sold in the temple and overturned the table of the money changers and the, sat of, and the seat of those who sold doves. 13. And he said to them, it is written, my house shall be called a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. So, the judgment is of the sons of Levi. It is not of you. Yes, sir. Are you getting me here now? Yes. That is why when you go to verse 10, Malachi 3 from verse 10, he said it there clearly in verse, in verse 9 to 10. Now he said, you are caused with the cause for you have robbed me. He's talking to you now. So even this whole nation. He said, bring all the tithe, not give it out to the poor. Yes, sir. Bring it into the storehouse. Yes, sir. So that there may be food. So that people that will come in my house to serve me, if they are hungry, those that I have called, those that I have sent, that have the eyes, as Sister Bai said, no eye, no ministry. Yes, even in the demise of his wife, God was speaking to him. He was bringing people out, even his worst enemy, telling them, giving them rise. God said, That's true, sir. Because his house is a house of prayer, not a house of mourning. Where will he get those rights to give? If you give to the poor and they blindfolded your resources. That is why when Judas envied Jesus, when Mary Madarin brought an expensive oil, Judas looked at him and said, let's sell it and help the poor. Jesus laughed and said, the poor are with you all the time, but I am not with you. Bring it here. For this woman has brought it in the house. He said, wherever this gospel will go, this woman's word will not be denied of. Yes, sir. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please understand this. Many we said we have been helping the poor, but we are helping wrongly. Our businesses is collapsing. It must collapse. Before you help, you must know these three things. One, hear from God before you help. Two, who to help. Three, we are to help. I hear you, sir. Long ago, when I was in Puerto Farm Markets, I am a physical preacher. A young woman came, tattered and scattered, and saw me when I was reading the Bible outside, and said, man of God, pray for me. And I look at her upstairs. This is no story. Everybody saw it in Puerto Farm Markets. I sat near the Megad gate. And I look at her. 
I say, who told you I'm a man of God? He said, you're reading the Bible. I look at her. And I look at my heart. And I had him. Son, do not. If you don't have eyes, hypocrite. Either way. That's true, sir. And before you know it, I say, pray for yourself. Immediately, she turned into an air. Nobody saw her. Do not allow any kind of people to lay their hand upon your head. That's true, sir. When I was a little boy, I watched Indian movies so much. When you hear of this Bahose Mahuse, this is a god in Indian. It's a different things of worshipping God. Go and check it. I'm not joking here. Somebody will speak something, he will tell you it's in tongues. Check the in tongues. Hear it. Hear it. Some can be calling gods. You don't know. That's and you're saying, Amen. Amen means, let it be so. You are concurring with the gods. And tomorrow you come and say, I don't know what is wrong with me now. I don't speak what I don't know. And I don't concur with what my spirit is not concur. Yes, sir. Because no pastor will judge me. Only God That's will judge me. In Exodus 25, verse 1 to 2, he, so they said, tell Moses he should collect my offering. From everyone will give it to him willingly. Collect it. It's my own offering. Whatever you give willingly is what is being used in the house of God. God forbid I give to a man. But if I see that man serving God, I obey God giving instruction. Yes, sir. Not man made instruction. Yes, sir. I can't go man canal way by telling people, come now, how can you help me? No, that's the canal form. That's true, sir. But willingly is a form of acceptable. Acceptability of the word of God or in giving is in willing. Nobody forced me to build anything for God. Nobody forced me to push this life for God. But it's from my willing heart. And any willing heart receives a willing blessing. Yes, sir. Are you getting me here now? Yes, my father. King Saul was a king. But he left his work, his God given assignment. Start doing another person's assignment, sir. You can't be a prophet. And be a member at the same that time. True, sir. You can't tell me your God tell you or your spirit tell you you should help the poor. There are people you give. They, are, they receive instruction. Hebrews 7 5. They receive instruction to collect your offering. They receive your instruction to collect your tithe. They have your instruction to collect your seed. So they are able to help the poor. So if they refuse to help the poor, God will hold them. Why the demons are suppressing your giving that you are giving to the beggar is because you don't have any arguments. God didn't give you such instruction. He said you should help especially those who are of the same faith. Yes, sir. How can you find those that are of the same faith? It is in your church. Yes, sir. I went to village. I built people houses. I went to my village. I helped people build all these things. You build all those things. Who told you? Let's look at in the eyes of men what King Saul did was good because he was waiting for Prophet Samuel to come for days. And Prophet Samuel did not show forth. And the people of Philistine were approaching to kill them. And Saul's soldiers became afraid because they have not done the normal sacrifice. We serve a sacrificial God. We don't serve a covenant giving God. If he has been a sacrificial God in the beginning of old, he is a sacrificial till tomorrow. Malachi 3 from verse 6. He said, I am the Lord. I change it not. Yes, sir. In 1 Samuel 13 from verse 8 to 14, that was unlawful sacrifice. Saul did unlawful sacrifice. Yes, sir. He said, then he waited seven days according to the time set by Samuel. Samuel told them, give me seven days, I will come to sacrifice this thing. But Samuel did not come to Gilgal and the people were scattered from him. So Saul said, bring a burnt offering. Imagine. Because I can prophesy when I was under Saul. When I was under Samuel, sorry. Sam, Saul never knew. It was the grace of Samuel that made him to prophesy. That is true, sir. 
He now thought he's a prophet. You going with Tristan does not make you a prophet. Yes, sir. But my grace is what you are under. That you can prophesy, I prophesy your doom. That is true, sir. Right on, sir. So Saul said, Bring a bone offering and peace offering here to me. And he offered a bone offering. Now it happened. As soon as he has finished presenting the bone offering to God, though, that Samuel came. And Saul went out to meet him that he might greet him. And Samuel said, What have you done? Saul said, when I saw that the people were scattering from me and that you did not come within the days appointed and that the Philistines gathered together at merchants, then I said, the Philistines will now come down on me at Girga and I have not made supplication to the Lord. Therefore, I felt compelled, compelled and offered a bond offering to God. And Samuel said to Saul, hey, you have done foolishly. You have not kept the commandment of the Lord your God. Which he commanded you. From now. The Lord will, will. The Lord would have established your kingdom. Over Israel forever. He said but now. Your kingdom shall not continue. The Lord has sought for himself. A man after his own heart. And the Lord has commanded him. To be commander over his people. Because you have not kept what the Lord commanded you. Your commandment is not in giving, it's bring. Yes, sir. It is God that says, please, Malachi 3. Why devil have heard Malachi 3 from verse 1 to 10? Because no, that is the only place where God has given his call. Where God has put in his call online. He said, Try me in this if I will not. Or... That is true, sir. They will tell you, not be to go give orphan, open orphan home, give orphan. Now the same thing. No! You cannot change the commandment of God. That's true, sir. His word is his word. Yes, and his word is yes and amen. Yes, he said in the book of Isaiah 55 verse 11. He said not my word. His word must accomplish yes, that sir. thing which he sent it to. That is true sir. Somebody will say I don't know why I am poor. I don't know why I am poor. You are poor because you rejected his word. You rejected his word. God's prosperity plans are in his word. Forsaking the word of God is forsaking your sources. Yes, sir. Don't seek for easiest way. Joshua from verse 8. He said, This book of the law. He said, This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe, observe, power of observation. Be careful to know which one God talk, and which one Peter talk, and which one James talk. Yes, sir. That is observe. You should carefully what? Observe. Observe to do according to all that is written in it. Observe it. What is written in that very law, spoken by God. Do it. Do all of them. For then you will make your ways prosperous and then you will have a good success. Deuteronomy 15 from verse 4 to 6. Carefully observe it. What God say. Filter them. You know which one God talk, which one Peter talk. He said, except when there may be no poor among you. For the Lord will greatly bless you in the land which the Lord your God is giving you to possess as an inheritance. Only if you carefully. Yes, sir. Only if you carefully, 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 carefully obey the voice of the Lord your God to observe carefully all these commandments which I command you today. Yes, For the Lord your God will bless you just as he has promised you. You shall learn to many nations. He didn't say you will borrow. If you carefully know the word of God, what did God say? You shall lend to many nations. You shall not be a borrower. You shall reign on over many nations, but they shall not reign over you. This is Romans 28 from verse 12. Carefully. 28 verse 12. Carefully. The Lord will open to you his good treasure. The heaven to give the rain to your land in his season and to bless all the works of your hand. You shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. 
carefully obey, observe his commandment. Meditating in the word of God is different with reading the word of God. Yes, sir. Meditate. Look carefully. Look. Look. God is never a promising God. Don't say, Peter said, Luke said. Mm -mm. He told me carefully, Peter, bye. My prosperity plan is not in promise. Wallahi. He said, Rita, bye. My prosperity plan is not in sentiment. It's not in like this. Chin le, chin le ke, it's not. That's true, sir. Say, but my, my prosperity plans is in covenant. He that obeys my commandment. That is why he told them in Psalm 89, verse 34. He said, My covenant will I never break. Whether David keep people or no keep people, as long as he obey my word, I give him. As long as Muslims obey my word, I give them. That's true, sir. He's not a sentiment God. Please, my children, follow this man. I am a violent tighter. Yes, I am sir. a covenant keeper. Yeah, true, I sir. give like water. That is true, sir. If there is someone that should be poor, I could have been. You all know my mother was taking my picture from prayer to prayer house, saying, Who did this to this boy? Because she thought I would be bankrupt for life. That's true, sir. Knowing where and how to give. Even when I was in business, people come to give me to help and give. Why? They say God ordained their step. Look up here. Every true soup that we test well has aroma. That is true, sir. No matter the distance where you're cooking that food, the aroma will reach there. That is true, sir. Every true servant of God has aroma. Yes, sir. If he passes you, you will see it. That is true, sir. That is why a true servant can never create handbill for people to come. We are animal die. Yeah. The vulture will hear the aroma of that blood. Yes, sir. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is no person in my God. People that say God is partial. No. God is never partial. Why will God bless that woman? Why will I give to the poor? I am not blessed. Why will I be offered at home? And I did not receive offer and blessing. So many pastors are building scientific structure, but no one member there. You have to say, is there partiality in God? Why can't people go in that beautiful church? God told them, I didn't instruct him. This one have I not come, yet they went. When I told people, when we are in the long structure, I said, God told me that in the one night with Christ, that here will not contain people. That's and people true. outside and inside will not be the same. That is Everybody true. left me. Yes, sir. I alone and my mother. My mother was here. I was using my leg to destroy the block by myself. That is true, sir. In less than 11 days, we built the structure. 11 days from there, the people outside, the heat, that time it was cold time. Yes, sir. The heat coming out from the church, sir. Can roast the chicken. Yes, sir. Why was it so? I had him and I built it, and that settles it. You are helping the poor, you are building church. Did God he tell you? When did he speak to you? When did he instruct to you? How did he speak to you? I hear you, sir. Act Apostle 10 from verse 34 to 35. There is no partiality. Peter said it. He said, Then Peter opened. Opened his mouth and said, In truth, I perceive that God showed no partiality. 35. He said, But in every nation, whoever fears him, what is fear? Whoever that obeys his commandment. Who you fear is who you obey. Yes, sir. Whoever fear him and works righteousness is acceptable by him. Accepted by him. If you obey his commandment, he will accept you. If you will not obey him, he will reject you. Yes, sir. You don't pay attention to people's word. I only use Peter's word, James' word, Andrew's word, Timothy's word, if their word are valuable. But listen to all my messages. I preach all my messages at all, says the Lord. Yes, sir. 
Proverbs 4, verse 20. He said, my son, incline, put attention to my word. He said, my son, give attention to my words. Not to anybody's words. Yes, sir. Give attention to my words. Give attention to my words. Give attention to my word. For you to have divine direction, you must give attention to my word. No man ever prosper by obeying other man's instruction. Jeremiah 10, verse 23. You must obey God's words. Yes, sir. Say, oh Lord, I know the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man who walks to direct his own step. Yes, sir. I was directed in this place by God. No man directed me. That is true, sir. I had his word. His word is irresistible. Yes, sir. That was why I take a drastic decision. And he has given me my miraculous testimony today. That is true, sir. Only my wife and before heaven that believe me. She said, nah, buy the land for God. It looked crazy. There was no houses here. That's Nothing true. to boast. That's true. But this woman told me, I have known you since 2004. I marry you. You have never said God said. And it goes that way. Whenever God said a word, it comes to pass. My mother was begging me yesterday when I told her so many things. She said, nah, I now understand that marrying your wife is what you told me that God told you. Because if you didn't do it, her soul, people's soul, will not be saved today. That's true, sir. That was what took me to the mountain. There is always an appointed time. Jesus was born from childhood. He never manifested until 33 years. And it was during John baptism. It was the baptism of John that manifested his calling. The heaven did not open until the water was poured upon his head. You see why John said, I am only sent to strengthen the way of the man that will come from the wilderness. I'm just a man of the wilderness that came to strengthen the way of the Lord. So no John, no Jesus, no Rita by Maria, no Christ of old ministry. So something leaked to something. Until you understand the scriptures, Nothing just happened. Nothing just happened. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every direction that might lead to your sources will be directed by God, not by man. Never you believe in many things that God did not say. Men will come and tell you, hey, hey, no be, no be uh, uh, Elijah. Not being be John the Baptist. Not be. Did Jesus say John the Baptist is Elijah? Many like believing people's words. Living the God that created the people. God forbid in my church, people say, Daddy say. I did not say. Everything while they preach, I will show you the Bible. Yes, sir. That's why I, I will tell me there. Show them. In our church, we don't say Papa say, Daddy say, the word of God said. Yes, sir. I don't have anything to add. Revelation has said it. If you add in this book of law, it will be added in your life. That is true, sir. If you subtract, it's added in your life. Which book? It is not. It's talking about the book of the word of God. The word of God is different. It's in tablets. It was the prophet of God that combined every word. Both Jeremiah, both Hosea, both Gideon, Gideon. Boom! You read. You go to big. What are you reading the history of Esther? What did Esther go do you? You want to be beautiful? You want to be a royal priesthood? You want to be beautiful and shine? Say, for I testify to everyone who hears the word of the prophecy of this book. Prophecy of the book. It, it was in scroll. God the only word. It was in scroll. If anyone add to this, God will add to him the porch, the porch that we that are written in the books. What are the, the plugs? The plugs are those plugs that he said in Deuteronomy 28 from verse 15 to 26. Cause shall follow, 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 cause shall follow. That is the pledge. If you add, if you add, 
in Matthew 17, 12 to 13, the scribes believe Elijah is John. And the people believe him. He said, but I say you that Elijah has come already and they did not know him. Jesus was telling them, but they did to him whatever they wishes. Likewise, the son of man also has already come again and is going to suffer what Elijah has suffered. Now, the disciple understood. Look at this. You see their understanding now. But Jesus never told them so. The disciple understood that he spoke to them of John the Baptist. Now, they can't carry him. You go say, ah, Peter, tell us, say, Elijah. Now, John the Baptist. Somebody replied to me in the book of, uh, is it Matthew uh, 11, from verse 11. I told him, read from verse 7. Jesus was giving them a parable that Elijah has already come. Which many did not know where it was written. Because Elijah died around first kings. The wind took him now. In second kings, his son, Elisha, was buried. Elijah was taken by a white wind when fear took him. Where did that white wind wrote? You don't know. The reporter, the person that, that, that reported it when he saw it, he reported that, ah, Elijah has taken to heaven. When a bed go up, where will you say? He got to heaven now. If wind carry me now, and the cloud cover me, what will you say? If a plane fly through, enter cloud, what will you say? The plane has entered heaven because I can't see him. But a cloud cover it. It fly from Jamaica, enter cloud. The wind carry him from the cloud. He will land to Nigeria. And he continue his mission. Jonah refused to go for Aaron. The whale carry him from the belly. He will, I was saying, just like Jonah. Carry him, oh, he didn't die. The same God that saved Jonah, the same God that saved who? Elijah. He, will, he went to Nineveh, vomited him. They go. Because Elijah prayed for dead, he was head. And God promised him he will not die. God took him out to another city. That was verse 2 Chronicle 21 from verse 12. They sent the reports where he was in another city giving message to a king and that prophecy came to pass. But they don't know that he's Elijah. They maltreated him. That's what Jesus was telling them. He said, and a letter came to him from Elijah. Imagine 2 Chronicle. How many years? A letter came. came. It didn't you know, fly. To him, from Elijah, the prophet saying, Thus said the Lord of God, your father, David. Imagine, he was, he was alive when David was existing. Elijah was not alive when David was existing. But very old. From your father, the David. Because you have not walked in the ways of Josephus, your father. Or in the ways of Asia, king of Judea. He said, worm shall eat you up. And it came to pass. Are you getting me here now? If Elijah is taken to heaven, that means the scripture of God that is in Old Testament and New Testament is contradicted. In 1 Corinthians 15, verse 50, is the flesh and blood can never inherit the kingdom of God. That is true, sir. He said, now, this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does corruption inherit in corruption. And 1 John chapter 3, from verse 13, is contradicted because Jesus is the first. He said, No one has ascended to heaven, but he who came down from heaven, that is the Son of Man who is in heaven. This is the word of Jesus. Jesus can never lie. That is true, sir. Peter can lie, Elijah can lie, but Jesus, whom I follow, can never lie. Yes, sir. So if you say they ascended, that means you are saying Jesus is not the first. So say, I'm the first. This was the quotation that makes me to research for good 17 years before I got that Second Chronicle 21 verse 12. 17 good years of study. Holy Ghost showed me this is the place. Because I don't want to make a mistake, my friend. I have suffered in righteousness yes, and I'm keep on walking in righteousness. Yes, I will not allow anything to take me to hellfire. Yes, 
Somebody will come to you. They will, they will use the Bible. They will cut here, cut here, and say, See him now, my friend. My Bible tells me, until your husband die, that is, that is when you can remarry. That is true. Until your wife die. Even if it's my son, I will tell him that. Anything you want to do, you're on your own. That is true, sir. Except you're a widow or a widower. I will never change the scripture. Who am I? You can hate me, leave me today. Tomorrow we shall meet in paradise. That's true, sir. In, in Matthew 19, from verse 1 to 9, he told me there clearly. It was Jesus' word. That is why I believe it. Now it came to pass when Jesus had finished this saying that he departed from Galilee and came to the region of Judea, beyond the Jordan. Now a great multitude followed him and he healed them there. The Pharisees now also came to him, testing him. Look at it. They used people, Moses and this to test. Testing him and saying to him, is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for just any reason? And he answered and said to them, have you not read that he who made them at the beginning made them male and female? And said, for this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother, be joined together to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So then, they are no longer two but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man separate. Then they said to him, why then did Moses command? You see, they now bring human being, Moses, to, to try to see if they can contradict the word of God. You see it now? They say, why then did Moses commanded to give a certificate of divorce and to put her away? They want to bring conflicts. Moses is not God. Yes, Look at what Jesus, who created Moses, answered him. He said, he said to them, Moses, where you talk, because of the hardness of your hearts, Yes, because sir. of the adultery you commit in the wilderness, because you are taking people's wife, he now sought for his own law that can calm the situation. That is why he permitted you to divorce your wife. But from the beginning, right on, Papa. But from the beginning, it was not so. Yes, sir. It was not so. People thought I was preaching message because of human being. Who are you? The person people thought I was preaching of. Is she not married today? It's not my, my business. I will keep on speaking the truth. Yes, sir. Even my wife, I tell her the truth of the scripture. That is true, sir. I am not me. Wallahi. My mother is small for me to look to tell truth or to lie. Who are you? Sir, I'm an old minister. That is true, sir. Somebody will come and carry Bible and say, but uh, I think the Bible say in the book of uh, Exodus 21 from verse 10, you can marry two wives. Is it God that said it? It was the Levite that were giving condition. They were settling matter. In Exodus 21 from verse 10, they were settling matter and they told them there that if you must marry two wives, he said, if he takes another wife, he shall not diminish her her food he shall not diminish her clothing he shall not diminish her marriage rights is there no prophet that married two wives they are it's a choice second kings 4 from verse 1 to 5 a son of the prophet one of his wives look at it in the bible a certain woman of the wives with us a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets cried have you not heard Joshua said God told in the book of Joshua I have said for you good evil choose That's true, sir. so if you choose to marry ten wives it's unto your choice but in the beginning it was not so I won't judge you you want to divorce your wife divorce you want to divorce your husband? Divorce! But I can, you can't stop me from preaching his truth, which is the word. The word I teach, their spirit and their life. 
I only teach what Holy Ghost taught me. I only teach what Jesus taught me. I only teach what God gave me. His commandments. Yes, sir. But the commandment of men. One of my daughter called me and said, Daddy, somebody gave her instruction to sow a seed to a motherless baby before she had a child. I said, she said she can't do it until it by said it. That is true, sir. As my daughter, it's never biblical. Yes, sir. Did God ask you to sow to the, to the children? He said, no. You can give to orphan today. You will give back to children, children will be, you will die. That's true, sir. There's always an instruction for every seed. Yes, God will tell you specifically, I need your child. I need your money. He told me, that 50 million you people get, give it to me. Yes, sir. That's your house in a way, give it to me. That's true, sir. And look at it today. Have I regretted it? No, not at all. I hear him. If you can hear him, look for a seer. Yes, sir. It is stupidity for a man leaving aeroplane to drive car. When someone leaves a prophet, a seer, in searching of a pastor, when a pastor is searching for a seer, that is true, sir. Any man that leaves a seer going to meet a pastor. Why the pastor you go to meet is seeking for a seer? You need a seer. Yes, sir. What shall I do? What is God saying? Yes, sir. Where should I sow? Who should I sow to? That is true, sir. Don't be like Saul that is obeyed the word of God in the mouth of Samuel. Nobody to give to God. Nobody all of them. Nobody all of them are not God. Make a sacrifice them. Mm, mm, mm. Do you know how somewhere they put the knife? It is instruction that the prophet should sacrifice to him. Not to you, the king, to sacrifice to him. You see why I say prophet does not go to meet kings. Kings come to meet prophets. Yes, Except if God instructed the prophet to meet the kings. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Disobedience lead to rots. 